Hey guys, it's me. Um, I'm gonna be doing my uh, airsoft sniper rifle VSR10. I unscrewed the orange tip. So, all right. For this project, you're gonna need some duct tape, scissors or a jackknife, and some burlap. Now, sorry. Um, my burlap is tied up, so I'm just gonna untie it, put it into strands. You want? your burlap like in strands so like this this will work now if you're like me and you only have a limited amount of burlap to use I'm trying to ration it out sorry I just ran up here try to ration it out as best as you can so what you first want to do is take a piece of duct tape about that long I only have so much duct tape, so I can't really gill my guns best. And you need duct tape. You cannot use scotch tape. It'll just really, really fail. Be a really big fail. So, I'm going to take your duct tape and you're going to roll it up like this. Now, what you want to do is you're going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some burlap where it matters most. Like... Uh, like at the barrel, like the tip of the barrel, and kind of wrap it like that. <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to take some burlap, like get some colors in there, you want to kind of stretch it out and do a string like that. You kind of get it to go like this. Now you might need a couple things of duct tape. Ah. But it's kind of starting to turn out. I'm using another piece of duct tape. You could also rip off the duct tape. And what you do want is some hanging down like that so it looks natural. And now inside your barrel. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to stretch it out. And make sure you can actually see down your barrel. Now, there's some burlap. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my gun over, and I'm only going to burlap some parts of oh crap, I'm out of duct tape. I'm out of duct tape. What you're going to want to do is you're going to get it out of your way. Alright, I'll be right back. Let me try to find some more tape. Alright. This will have to do. Masking tape. Hopefully it will work. You can need a piece like that long each time though, probably. It depends on what you're burlapping. And this will work for if you have that problem of the access burlap. Ugh. This is the first time I've burlapped a gun, so. And you can make your own burlap, is uh, camo burlap, it's really easy. Oh yeah, that's gonna work. Take a piece of masking tape. I 
And sometimes masking tape has an advantage. It's really, really easy to get off your gun if you want to burlap it. But I do recommend duct tape. Alternative is masking tape. I'm not sure if the masking tape is going to hold long though. So. Kind of like this. Alright, that's good enough. Alright, now that you have the front part burlap, now I want to burlap my scope. I'm going to take a piece of black burlap, kind of spread it out a bit, and tape it onto my scope. And never use white duct tape. Like I did because then I'll be I'm gonna be spotted really easily now. But look, yeah, probably gonna be spotted really easily. We're lapping the scope, especially if you have a uh, bolt action sniper rifle like me. It takes a lot of patience because of the wrapping. Not like <clears throat> wrapping, but like wrapping the burlap around it so it doesn't get in the bolt. When you're playing, so. It takes patience. And the reason why I'm doing this fast is because I had to go out to dinner tonight for my grandparents' anniversary. Just a minute, mom! And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap some burlap around here. And this is very doable. It It's a tad bit time consuming, but I mean, when you get it, you will basically be invisible to the players on the battlefield. Now I thought this was going to go a lot better. And so, I thought, well, I thought it would be like, hey, look at this guys, my gun is camouflage and I have an advantage. Coming! Oh, this is so awesome. See, on the other side, you can't see it. But I have a hop-up thing, and I do not want to cover that. So now, got to have all the colors of the burlap in there. Because who knows when, when you're going to be playing a condition that calls for a lot of colors. And if you're wondering why that little thingy, like that little post thingy, whatever, is sticking out, that's for a bipod. My bipod came with my gun. And, and now I can't find it, so yay, I guess. <sighs> yay. This is looking pretty good. Alright. This just uh just so you know burlap kind of smells, so I'm just telling you burlap smells a little bit. And I can't explain the smell, it's like stinky. It's a really good camouflage. For on a cheap budget, this is like your best friend. And then I also have a ghillie suit. Uh, I mean, this is the extra burlap that came with my ghillie suit. So, uh, just gonna finish burlapping this. 
What I'm gonna do is. And right down here is my clip, so I just want to make sure that's free. And my gun is done. So I'll be sitting like this. Ooh. With an advantage of a burlap gun. More likely a camouflage gun. This is how it kind of turned out, and I think it's kind of crappy. But. It'll give me an extra advantage on the battlefield. When I'm hiding in some bushes and crap. So, uh, thanks for watching.